Hey everyone, here is a question from rational numbers and the question here is find 5 rational numbers between 2 by 5 and 1 by 4. This is a really important question. This can come for exam. Like this type of questions can come for exam. So let's start solving. Now before we solve this, remember that there are infinitely many rational numbers between 2 rational numbers. But here they are asking us to find out only 5 rational numbers. So whenever you solve this type of question, the very first thing you should see is the denominator we have to make sure that they are like fraction but here they are not like fraction they are unlike fractions because denominators are not same we have 5 and we have 4 so the very first step is check if they are like fractions if not we have to uh, convert them into like fractions and that can be done by taking LCM so here we are going to take LCM of 5 and 4 which is 20 now I'm going to find out the equivalent rational number, equivalent rational number of 2 by 5 and 1 by 4 with denominator 20. It's very simple. So it's 2 by 5 and I want 20 in the denominator. So you might have learned how to find out the equivalent rational number. We have to either multiply or divide. So here we have to obviously multiply. So with 5, what we should multiply to get 20? it's 4 so multiply the same 4 in the numerator we will get 8 by 20 the next number is 1 by 4 same thing with 4 what we should multiply to get 20 it's 5 so the 5 you multiply in the numerator and denominator so this will become 5 by 20 remember this 8 by 20 and 5 by 20 are equivalent rational number of 2 by 5 and 1 by 4 so 2 by 5 is equivalent to 8 by 20 so instead of taking 2 by 5 we're going to take 8 by 20 instead of taking 1 by 4 we're going to take 5 by 20 that's it now they are asking find 5 rational numbers between these two, right? But if you look at the numerator, we have 5 and we have 8. In between these two numbers, we have 6 and 7, which are only two numbers. So we cannot find 5 rational numbers. Then what to do? What we are going to do? We have already found equivalent rational numbers, right? I am going to find one more equivalent rational number by multiplying with certain number. You can multiply with any number. The main aim is to increase the gap between this 5 and 8. That's it. I want more gap so that more rational numbers I can find out here. But how to do? Like I said, I'm going to find out another equivalent rational number. So instead of taking 8 by 20, what I'm going to do? Again, I'm going to multiply with, uh, let us take, we'll take here 5. Okay, you can take any number here. Yeah, I'm just taking 5 here. So let's multiply with 5. So, I'll get 40 by 100. Yes? Yeah. The next. Here we have 5 by 20, right? So, with 5 by 20 also, you should multiply with the numerator and denominator with 5. Otherwise, denominator will change. So, this will be 25 by 100. Now, you can see that we got 40 upon 100, 25 upon 100. And between this 25 to 40, we have many numbers, right? So we can take any numbers here, we want only 5 rational numbers, so we can take any number between uh, 25 to 40, any 5. So, so therefore, 5 rational numbers between 2 by 5 and 1 by 4 are you can pick any 5 so I'm gonna start with 40 not 40 26 so I'll write 26 upon 100 next is 27 by 100 you can take 35 because 35 lie between 25 and 40 it's completely upon you which number you want to take and then 37 by 100 and the last one, I'm going to take 39, 39 by 100. So this was a simple question. I hope it's clear. Remember, like why we have multiplied with 5. See, it's not necessary that you have to multiply only with 5. You can take any number, 6 or 2 or 3. What happens if you multiply with 2? It will be 8 twos are 16. And here we'll get 5 into 2, we'll get 10. So you can see that between 10 and 16, we have exactly 5 rational numbers, right? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You can multiply with 2 also. Just I showed with 5. 
just to show you that the gap is increasing the greater the number you take the more gap you get that's it um that's it i hope it's clear in case you have any questions or doubts you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching